The first concussion was the worst and the scariest, probably because it was the first. Um, but the scariest part was what to do, first of all. So um, the trainer was great and did as much as he could, gave us ad advice as to what to do that night uh, when we got home from the game and then obviously went straight to the family doctor. Um, Max is fortunate in that his family doctor is a sports, um, you know, injury specialist, whatever. And uh, so he gave us some good advice. You know, it was pretty much initially, you know, two weeks off everything, um, you know, no screen time, uh, dark room, uh, you know, help his symptoms as much as you can. So uh, no noise, um, a lot of rest. Uh, he did sleep a lot. Um, but for us, it was nobody really understood what a concussion was or, or what it meant long term. Um, it seemed to be the sort of going, you know, the treatment was, well, here's what everybody's saying you should do. And we were unsure that that was the best. Um Anyway, it, it did turn out okay in that um, Max, he behaved himself for at least the two weeks. And then, um, and he seemed to respond uh, in a positive way. You know, headaches lessen, the light sensitivity lessen, noise sensitivity. Maybe it wasn't as big of an issue um, as they may have thought, but um, seemed to settle down Um so things went went pretty well um, after uh, that first concussion. The second concussion, and I don't know if you want to get into this, but two years had passed, and quite honestly, the treatment had completely changed and was so much better. So that something really good happened in those two years, and it made a huge it made a huge difference. So I think his. Uh, that the testing and the treatment that he went through the second time around was much more thorough and more effective.